welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do Mason's 18 month update. Um, I know I have been missing from the YouTube world for a long time now. It's been quite a few months. I know I skipped Mason's 12 month update. I guess you could say I just ran out of ideas and I didn't want that last 12 month update to be over with so I just kind of never did it. So I kind of took a break from YouTube try to figure out what I want to do now, now that Mason is 18 months. I don't really want to do any more monthly updates, so I kind of just took some time off to figure out what I want to do with my channel and where I want to go from here. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in because uh, he does not want to be <laughs> trapped in his room. So we took Mason for his 18 month wellness check last Friday. Um, and this is the little paper that they gave us. So, weight. Mason weighs 25 pounds, which is in the 50th percentile, which means he's average. Length, he is 33 inches long, and it says that he is in the 75th percentile, so above average. <laughs> he's just going to kind of wander around. But um, they just gave me info on what to expect, nutrition, development, touch points, safety, and what to expect during the visit. He did get, was it two shots? Yeah, I think it was two shots, both on the same leg. Um, to start things off, words. He is saying so many words. His vocabulary is just, it is very extensive. Um, first words that come to mind are... Thank you, mermaid, night night, juice, mama, dada, obviously. Uh, he knows ball, choo choo, train. He says the pet's names. He calls Scooter Tur. He calls Emily E. He calls Toby T. Uh, he doesn't really say Jordan's name. Uh, Jordan is my dachshund. Um, he kind of just, because Jordan's always growling, uh, Mason will growl because he knows that's the noise Jordan always makes. I know that's kind of bad, but I find it kind of cute. Um, he's still saying pew, but now he's associated pew with farts. So anytime he farts or anytime daddy farts, he says pew. Um, and he really just, he's always trying to imitate you. Any wor new words you say, he's trying to say. Or he, he's always trying to repeat words that you say. He knows a ton of animal sounds. He probably knows about 20 animal sounds from dogs, cats, fish, monkeys. I mean, just so many. That's He doesn't know the names of the animals, but he can make their sounds. Let's see, he is still sleeping through the night. Unless he's teething that night, then we will normally give him um, baby Advil. <laughs> lay him back in his crib. If he's, if he's still uncomfortable, then we do bring him into bed with us. Um, bedtime is still at 7.30, he wakes up at 8, um, and then around noon he'll take a two hour nap. Um, he loves to be outside, he just, I don't know what it is, he loves to be in the backyard playing, he gets so excited, um, he knows once I get his shoes on he's going outside and he is screaming and doing some kind of baby gibberish talking all excitedly, it's kind of like He's telling me what he's going to do when he goes outside. It's really funny and adorable. I love taking him outside. So that actually has been a blessing in keeping our house really clean because we play and eat outside. I have been taking him to the playground more often. We go pretty much every day. And I go to a baby boot camp every day. So he's around a lot of kids. He hasn't really started playing with other kids. But he likes to watch them. He likes to watch kids play. Can you say hi? Look. Hi. Hi, Mason. No? You want your juice? Want juice? No. Yeah. No. Everything is no. Nothing's yes. He also really loves to read. He loves story time. His favorite book right now is, um, I think it's Dr. Seuss's Are You My Mother. He just, he loves animals. He probably gets that from me because I love animals. He's getting really good at using his fork. He can pick up sausages, he can pick up eggs, spoons. He's not that great at, but he can somewhat get the food from the plate into his mouth. So we're still working on that. 
foods. He loves his he loves his fruits. The only fruit he doesn't like are blueberries. As far as vegetables, he hates vegetables. The only one he will eat is sweet corn. Since he doesn't really eat his vegetables, uh, I do juice a lot. We drink a lot of green juices pretty much every day just so I can make sure he gets in those important vegetables that he's not, he refuses to eat. He is obsessed with balls. Anytime he sees a ball in the store, outside, on TV, he points them out. Everything is ball, 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 and trains. He just got this new obsession with trains. We watched Thomas the Train for the first time this week. No, last week. And he's just been obsessed with them. He, everything is choo-choo. Every car is choo-choo. Every truck is choo-choo. We, uh, we saw an ambulance the day of his... Um, wellness check and all he kept saying was choo 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 <laughs> so he's obsessed so I think I know what we're gonna get him for his birthday I want to get him a a train table and then a little train set I think he'd enjoy that but if he, on onto the like his ball obsession he loves to throw them um, when we were visiting my mom she used to, she would count to three and throw the ball to him. So he learned that from her. So he, he doesn't say one, two, three. He just kind of does it in his little baby talk. And then he goes one, two, three. And then he throws it. It's kind of cute. He also says um, catch. So we play catch a lot. He says catch and then he'll throw it to me. We have started brushing his teeth because he has gotten so many teeth. He has... Uh, he has the front four on the top and bottom, and then I think like one on each side on the top and the bottom in the back. So we are brushing his teeth. What else? His ability to communicate with us and tell us what he wants is pretty amazing. He's to me, it kind of reminds me of Lassie. He will, if you're sitting on the couch or on the floor, he will come to you and kind of point to like, like the kitchen or outside to show you he wants something or wants to go somewhere but it's funny because if he wants something from the kitchen or something to drink or a snack he'll point to the fridge because he knows that's where the drinks are or he'll or he'll point to the pantry because he knows that's where the snacks are but it's pretty amazing that he can tell kind of tell us what he wants he's also been pointing to his diaper when it's wet or he you know if he poops himself so I don't know if that means maybe he's possibly ready to start potty training. We really haven't done too much with potty training. Um, a lot of the books and articles I read mentioned certain signs to look out for, and he's not showing any signs. As far as personality, he's really quiet, really calm. Um, he does, like I said, get excited when we're going to go outside or we get to the park, but other than that, he's really calm. He likes to sit in my lap and play toys. He doesn't really watch TV. If he does, he just sits down for about five minutes and then he gets bored. Wants to walk around, but he's pretty much quiet. Happily entertains himself. Um, very chill. I guess he's a lot like me because I'm a pretty quiet person. Oh, if you haven't noticed, um, he did get his first haircut. We got his haircut last month. Oh no, not last month. Uh, we got his haircut in May. Um, he was the ring bearer in my sister's wedding, but I wanted to make sure he had a nice haircut for her wedding. So we did that while we were in New Mexico. Uh, my husband was there, my mom was there. I kind of wanted to do it while we were there so my mom could see. Um, and it was just, it was a horrific experience. He cried the entire time. Um, it was one of those really cool children's haircut places. They put him in a little um, airplane. And he was kind of okay with it at first, but as soon as the girl was in his personal space, he flipped out, didn't want it done. Uh, we had to move him to a regular chair. My husband sat down and held him while he got a haircut. He just, he does not like the razor, is that what it is? Yeah. The bzzz thing that where it does the back or whatever. He hated that, he cried the entire time. But as soon as she quit with the buzzing and got the clippers out, then he was he was fine. As far as um, moving him into like a toddler bed, as you can see, we're still using his crib. I have no intention of 
moving him to a toddler bed, I still have his nursery set up as a nursery, even though I don't really use the changing table anymore. But, uh, what can I say about his 18 months? He's just in a really fun stage right now. He's playing with toys, he's interacting with us, he's communicating with us. It's just, it's really fun. He's just a really good kid. He's more relaxed, more chill. Just love it. Cat? Except for now because he wants to get out of his room. So I'm going to call this the video. This is my 18 month baby. Can you say hi? Can you say bye bye? We're going to go outside. No. <laughs> say bye bye. Bye-bye. No, he's done. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any ideas of videos you want me to do, please leave them in the comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.